What's up guys? Frog Watch 2023, the third episode. No, the fourth episode. <laughs> Here we go. Here they all are. They have grown. It's a Saturday. They've grown. So we've got their food. You can see them too sunbathing. Oh, not sunbathing. Oh my gosh, don't tell me the quality on this camera's going to go. Yep. So, they have grown. There he is. Let me show you. You can see now they've got little mouths in there. Able to swim. So I'm going to take, oop, quickly, there you go. You don't need to touch them for, to make them swim anymore. So I'm just going to move all of the um, oxygen weed again. Obviously we don't want to have any tadpoles getting it. I'm going to count the tadpoles. We're going in a minute. Look at that glistening. It's all glistening. Now I'm going to clean it out. I'll do an episode on that later. They need to clean it out. As you can see, the water is pretty murky. <laughs> And you can see all in the dirt, it's starting to get a bit cloggy. Not not up there, but I'll take the gravel out and do an episode on that and just give it a nice little swirl out in a bucket. And then, so let's count them. So you've got one. Okay, so you've got one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So that's good. We've got five. We've still got five, so that's good because we're remaining five still. So let's hope that keeps on and we make five and, and breed them. Not breed them, but I'll do a, all of the videos. I'll do all of the videos like a releasing video when I release him. Well, them. I like them. They've grown. They've definitely grown. They wouldn't be able to fit in the... Uh, puppet now to get them out so i'm gonna have to use my um my um net to get these out because you don't obviously you don't want to hurt them yeah it's a joy of having them so if you look now this is what i mean about the it's all got sh all clumps now all in there is a load of clumps of dirt, so we're not going to disturb that because we we'll want to see them for this episode. Because they have grown definitely. I remember them being little babies three days ago. <laughs> three days and they've already grown. I mean, they've already grown and it's been three days. I can't believe that it's already been three days and they've already grown. It's just mad. And you've got them all sitting, having a nice little... I was mo thinking I'm moving them into my window to have a nice sunbath, but then I searched it up, I researched it on Siri, and Siri said that, no, it'll, uh, what's it called, roast them, make them squished. So I'm going to leave the camera there. Obviously I'm going to hold the camera because I don't want it falling in the water. And there you go. We've started to hatch some, started to grow some little baby frogs. Yeah. I'd say I need to change the food as well. I will give that a nice little rinse. I normally would like to keep that not rinsed because... You know, things like this, actually, you just don't need. You can just put it in, in your bin. 
you can just put it in your bin. Because you know it ain't going to grow. Now, from the garden pond, as you can see, there's still a little bit of blanket weed or whatever type of weed that is. And my finger, if you can see that, and it's in the um, oxygen weed. So actually, I'm not, I might, I'm going to give that. Oh, got some action. Saw a little air bubble come out of that little one's mouth there. See, still, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's all great. Now, you can see the process of when I move them out of this tank. Well, they wouldn't be moved out of this tank. I'll just take all of the gravel out and then, basically, I'll just make another version of this with more of this because obviously i'm going to need to feed them now i'll feed them on when they're proper little baby frogs i'll feed them little wood lice and stuff like that and from my local pet shop i will buy some like weird little creatures that just walk around and they'll just go and <coughs> to eat them and that's good um you would just tap a few in because Oh, I would tap about 10 in. And now, there's some good action this morning, because it's early morning. As you can see, there's none over here. They're all there. So, one, two, three, four, five. We have five. Wait, do we? Two, four. Yeah, we have five. That is good, though. Right, I'm going to put the camera around here, because that's where they all are. Now we've got a bit of action out in the middle. Now this is educational and I like it. As you know, I'll be doing one of these a year because, you know, and I might, might do another watch, something like a, I don't know, plant watch, like you're watching it grow. Hmm, depends really. Depends, I might only do frog watch because obviously I need a break. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do, just do Frog Watch once a year and keep uploading some other little videos. Now, they are very delicate. If you was to pinch their tail, that would actually kill them because they've got nerves in their tail that make their tails waggle to move, obviously to eat, because if you was just sitting there with it like a tiny little head, like the size of a pea, that would just be weirdly stupid because how would they ever move unless they had another way of doing it like oh we've got some good action as you can see now they're all like that we've got we've got one two three four oh, they've all gone but you can still see him he's still there I'll zoom in on him if you want there you go they've grown now I'm going to show you actually how big they are now. About the size, just the size of my little, just the size of my pointy finger at the tip, just there. Yep, so, yep, that's great. I love them. Now, you, if you are going to do something like me on a frog watch, just make sure you keep them looked after. Do a water change every three to four days, like I am today. Now, I do have to clean my giant African land snail out today. Obviously, because um, he's not been cleaned out for since I brought him, which is, oh, he doesn't have any water. So I'll show you the process of when I put water in. So what I do is I open it up, and then I'll go and get my Komodo thing. I'll just give it a... need some pumping. Now, yep, that's got a little bit now. So we're gonna go over to here and we're gonna just give it a little squirt into the water dish. I've not got much water in the Komodo. It's 
sprayer, so I'm gonna have to keep pumping it to get some water. So, oh, now. Okay, that's filled. As you can see, there's no water in it. So I need to clean him out and I'll show you the before and after. And then we have little mate out down here. He needs cleaning out today as well. He's out at the moment. So back to frog watch. So not much action now. The water is quite murky. So I'm going to put all of the oxygen weed back. You want to make sure that every day you check for these they've got um you've got five or how many ever many you've counted before and put in now they are very active back with the weeding the weed is like a little place they can swim through there the, the a little root through there now i'm i'm just considered about if they are, are going to survive and turn into frogs only about five of the population that the um big frog lays of the eggs only about five of those will survive to be adults and breed which is kind of sad because of how many you would have breeded and how much frog spawn you would have in your garden today i am going to do a video on how much frog spawn i've got in my garden and you can see like all of these they'll all be in there it's a nice clear pond now i'll show you that now I'm not, I'm not going to do a video on cleaning the big snail out, but I will do a video on cleaning the little snail out because um, I can show you how I do that. Now, I am going to show you in another video in a minute that I'm going to post how I clean that, take that out and, you know, kind of just, if you know what I mean, re refill it. Now, I don't tip it out for about two weeks because I leave all of that little bit in because the birds actually leave a scent in there when they go in. So that's why I'm going to leave it in. And next week, I'll do it and I'll properly empty it, put it all in the bin. So I'll show you that on another episode in a minute. Not an episode, just I'll show you it again. So here you go. You've got one, two, three... One at the bottom for five. Oh, that's how I'm showing you that I've got five. Now, I am going to show you on another Frog Watch episode that I will do in one minute. Of, I'm going to prove to you that I have five. And I'm going to get my net and I'm going to put them in this little tub here. All in, together in this little tub. Um, so I can show you that there's exactly five. Now, because I want to prove to you that I've got exactly five. So, that's it for today's episode. Check back in a minute. Check back on my other videos and make sure you watch all of the Frog Watch episodes. Hope you enjoyed. Check out my other episode of Frog Watch, which will be the fifth Frog Watch episode. No, the f yeah, the fifth episode of Frog Watch. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe so you never miss out on Frog Watches and all of that. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.